Highness Christopher Rupert, Windermere Vladimir, Carl Alexander, Francois Reginald, Lancelot Herman.
Hello, Father. <laughs> oh! Hello, my boy. Christopher, how are you feeling? Fine, Father. You're not unhappy or anything, are you? <laughs> Why no, Father? Ah ha! That's my boy. It seems to me, sir, that you look a little tired. I am tired. When I think of that darn ball. Oh, that. Well, to tell you the truth, sir, it isn't a night I'm looking forward to. Dancing with all those candidates. Candidates. Every simpering girl in the kingdom. Each one determined to show that you'd be the perfect princess for me. Yes, I know how you feel, my boy. But your mother's got her heart set on this affair. I know. So it's best not to let her know how we feel. It would break her heart. Oh, hello, dear. Oh, mother. I was just saying how much I'm looking forward to the ball. It sounds wonderful. Oh, does it? Yes, I was wondering if I could help with any of the preparations. Oh, well, yes, dear, maybe you can. Well, see you later. <clears throat> Getting a cold? <laughs> Better take something for it. Don't want to have a red nose at the ball. I'll be over it by then.
just the same. I am wishing, in the name of every young girl who ever wanted to go to a dance and was told she couldn't, I'm wishing that by some type of magic or fall to roll on fiddly D, that I could go I to the ball you, tonight. But I got the Impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden cabbage. Impossible for a plain country pumpkin and a prince to join in marriage. And eight white mice will never be eight white horses. Well, 
have a lovely night. Wait, aren't you coming with me? Heavens no. All I can do is give you your wish. What happens from here is up to you. But I'm afraid to go all by myself. You needn't be. Except for one thing. Do not stay beyond 12 o'clock. See to it that you are in this coach and headed for home before the clock strikes 12. Why is it so important that I'm heading home before 12? Mm, no more questions. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I have a strange feeling that something has just happened to me. 
I don't know what it is. That's exactly the way I feel. Do you have any idea what it might be? No. Well, let's think back over our history together. It isn't very long, is it? I saw you. I looked up when you came through the door. My head started reeling. You gave me the feeling. The piano ceiling, our floor. Ten minutes ago, I met you, and we heard about our howling. I wanted to ring out the bells. I'm playing on my arms. I just sing all the news. I have found her.
keep going. Why? Because I promised my godmother. Your godmother will forgive you if you're a little late. Oh, no, she won't. I have a strange kind of godmother. You're a strange kind of girl. Okay. You haven't told me your name yet. It's a silly name. You wouldn't like it. Of course I would. Whatever you are called, it's the most beautiful name in the world. I know it belongs to her. Dad, I've just got to find her. We will, son. We will. May I send the herald to the kingdom in search of her? Of course. See that this slipper is tried on every young maiden in the kingdom. Every last one. No matter how unlikely she looks. Keep trying until you find the foot that fits the slipper. Do you understand? Yes, your highness. Find that girl!
anything like that. Nothing like it at all. And you, clean this place up. It looks like a pig pen. Yes, stepmother.
every young maiden in the kingdom? Every young maiden that could be found, your highness. I'm sorry. Thank you. You may go. glass slipper that didn't fit anyone. Oh, your highness, you mustn't give up hope. It was just a waste of time, a wild goose chase. It was impossible. But your highness, impossible things are happening every day. And even foolish dreams come true. Oh, yes, if you wish hard enough and believe in what you're wishing, even foolish dreams come true. Who are you? I'm just a girl from the village. I think I'd better go. My stepmother will be wondering where I am. Your stepmother will forgive you if you're a little late. Forgive you if you're a little late. Really, Your Highness, I must go. At least tell me your name. It's a silly name. You wouldn't like it. Silly name. Wouldn't like it. Stop! Did anyone try to slip on you? No, Your Highness. the most beautiful name in the world.
Thank you.